firewall AI agent, input plus output guard. That is the video. This is very unique. You will not find such a video anywhere. In this video, we are going to showcase how we guard our AI chatbot clients or our AI SaaS clients. Hey everyone, Sri here. Welcome to Techie Talks AI channel. Today, I am adding a firewall AI agent in front of my chatbot. One that checks user inputs for prompt injection and sanitizes my bot's outputs. So, nothing sensitive ever leaks. In short, two guards, one for input, one for output to keep your AI stack safe. So, here is how it works. So, I have prepared a flow diagram to explain. So, input validation. So, the entry point for a hacker to enter our system is through the input. That is where they enter the prompt. If it is a chatbot, that is where they type their queries. So, that comes in through this part. And what happens during input validation is the hackers attempt to hack a chatbot or any agentic or AI system is through the input. That is the only place where they can type something. So, prompt injection, all kinds of tricks they will attempt here. So, our first validation should happen here. So, then we have the output validation. So, hacker will attempt the tricks here and then finally, after processing the input, our output goes back to the hacker through this output validator. That is the idea. We will have our firewall prompt validating the input and we will also have our firewall prompt validating the output. Now, how will this work? The whole thing is agentic. Our chatbot is agentic. Our input validation firewall is an agentic uh, system and output also is an agentic system. Why agentic? Because it has the ability to access tools, different large language models, etc. And our main chatbot is not only agentic, it is a workflow based agentic framework because depending on the chat query that comes in, the workflow may have to route the query to different agentic frameworks. But we need to ensure that whatever that crosses here is sanitized and we need to ensure that whatever that leaves our main agent or main workflow is sanitized. That is the idea. Even if there is a prompt injection that tricks the agent to reveal some risky information, output validation will detect and prevent. And then finally, it can also log this so that we can take measures to ensure that we update the input validation to prevent such attempts in the future. So, even if there is a breach that made the uh, input validation skip the detection, output validation can prevent the data leak and also ensure that it alerts us so we can correct our input validation or update our input prompts. 